The Foundry in East London is a venue which over the years has played a role in the history of artists including the author Irvin Welsh, the comic Mark Thomas, the graffiti artist Banksy and the band's Hot Chip and the Libertines. Now it's to be demolished and replaced by an 18-storey hotel. We wondered if this was a sign of hard times for the arts and sent our culture correspondent Stephen Smith to investigate. This is a story about the meaning of art. No, don't turn over. What I mean by that is, when you get a place that spawns art and music, like the foundry here in East London, do you preserve it come what may, or accept that it may get squeezed out, moved on, by the attention it draws to its neighbourhood? I'm going to show the corridor now. Co-founder Tracy Mobley showed us some of the foundry's underground art. Yeah. So the corridor, you know, used to be white uh, corridor. Did it? Um, but then Banksy started off in here, completely did the whole corridor. Um, along, he was the first. Yes, along with New York Street artists, Vale. Once upon a time, this used to be a bank. This was where they kept all the lolly. But now it's a gold mine. An international hotel chain want to site their next development here. It's a decision that's dividing even the art world types who patronise the joint. I think the best thing that could happen to the foundry is it completely gets ripped down, that is completely destroyed and is gone. Because that way, then it will enter into art history. It will then, from that point on, people are going to see this place and value it in a completely different way. I'd love to be the guy who's driving the truck that, that sends the, the ball, ball. The, with the swinging ball to, to, to get... If I could get that, I'd love that. The camera-shy Banksy took a rather different view, even though the developers want to preserve his art. In an email to Newsnight, he told us... No one ever went there for the beer. It was always a bit warm and flat. I would appeal to the developers not to keep my graffiti. It's a bit like demolishing the Tate and preserving the ice cream van out the front. Whatever it may look like, the people who run the foundry and their regulars say it's an art gallery. But the council say it's a bar. The whole argument's got bogged down. We've always been sort of known as a, as a gallery. Uh, everybody appreciates it as a gallery, performance venue, cultural space, so on and so forth. But all of a sudden, something's happened with the council that they've got us down as a bar. And that makes it easier for them to get rid of you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The council says the area will actually be better off for arts space when the foundry's gone. The council would normally resist the loss of an arts, culture and entertainment venue. The hotel gallery will have more exhibition space for local artists to exhibit their work than is available at the current venue. The dance floor of the Hacienda nightclub, the launch pad of the so-called Madchester scene. Believe it or not, there are flats here now. It was recorded in LA. But one of the old guard from Factory Records days, who's opening a new venue, says the city lost something when the Hacienda closed down. At the time, you know, the Hacienda being converted into flats was seen as such a great thing because it was bringing people into the city centre. Now you walk around the city centre and there's hundreds and hundreds of empty flats. So that whole culture has backfired quite quickly. I mean, I've talked to many people that lived in the Hacienda flats now and they all um, revere, you know, the, the history of it and um, keep telling me that, you know, around about midnight on a Saturday night you can hear everything creaking and we always think it's the, uh, you know, the echo of a good time to come. So what's the answer? Should we hang on to happening arts hangouts like the Foundry indefinitely? or accept that they have their moment and let the market do its worst. I think we need to separate the attachment we have for buildings and areas from the attachment we have to what goes on in buildings. This is really about a wonderful thing that has been going on in this building, which was found by people and occupied in the way that counterculture often occupies bits of the city. It transforms that city and then it moves on. And we are at that point where the counterculture parts of it really need to find a new home. 
Well, we, we are essentially, by this process, of ripping out our own memories and, and destroying our own souls in, in, in the terms of putting on a kind of overcoat of glass that, that whereby we anywhere is everywhere. We, we're destroying a sense of locality. We're destroying any peculiar quiddities of the city in favor of something that makes you feel comfortable because you saw it yesterday in Halifax. Some will say it's right that local planners aren't showing the foundry and its heritage an undue respect. But others will regret that they're simply dissing it all away.